Hello dear students, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will see how to calculate all these parameters in Excel. Just on one click you can calculate all these parameters one by one in Excel and I will tell you what is the process to calculate in Excel. Uh, so the first parameter that is mean, uh, second is median, mode, after that range, standard deviation, uh, correlation coefficient or coefficient of correlation it is same, intercept, slope, linear graph and normal distribution curve. Uh, so in biostatistics or statistics you will be learning this all and how to calculate just in excel very simply I will let you know in this video. So definitely like the video and subscribe the channel for more updates. Now I am in Excel. Uh, you can open the Excel from Microsoft and uh, here I have drawn a table. Uh, so table here most of the time you will have a calculation in such way only the concentrations in PPM and absorbance. Uh, if there are different you can utilize as per the observation table and serial number I have written here because I need a number of observations concentration and number of observations are same uh, but in fact that might be different uh, when you do your calculations uh, but for convenience I have taken same serial number and concentration and absorbance so there are six sets of an uh, absorbance uh, means observations uh, just I will zoom it Okay, so the first parameter that we need to calculate so these are the parameters that we will calculate 11 parameters using Excel so uh, in very short time you can calculate all these parameters like first is mean so for calculation of mean uh, just press equal to every every time when you are using any functions or any formula you have to press equal to and when you press equal to uh, click on average so a v g you uh, see here you can see the average spelling and just uh, scroll the table from where you want to start and then put enter you will get the average so the average average it means a mean so it is total number of uh, uh, these observations divided by the total number of total number of an observations so total of this all and divided by number of observation so make a sum of it and then divide it by observation after that median so median it is nothing but a middle value so just press uh, equal to and med median so here it will come a median and then uh, select the table and scroll it and then put enter you will get the median value so the median value the middle value it is 0.359 and now in case of mode so mode it it means that the value which comes frequently in the observations just we will try for mode uh, see here it is um, uh, mode single so we just are calculating for a single table or single observations so we are calculating just for an ob absorbance uh, see here it is not applicable because it is not applicable because there is no value which seems or which comes double right uh, the double or triple the number of observ the, any observation which comes frequently is called to be a mode but there is no mode so it is not applicable now for calculation of a range we need to find out so as uh, if I press equal to and range so there is no formula for range as such uh, so for that purpose I need to calculate maximum and minimum values so here I will calculate firstly maximum and minimum value because the range formula is range equal to so it is max value minus minimum value right so it is a formula for range as such you can directly observe you know, what is range uh, means <coughs> what is the maximum value and minimum value and just divide uh, just minus it or subtract it but here i will calculate uh, max value so how to calculate that max value i will show you so max value i will write here max value and just press equal to and max right so maximum value and select uh, scroll to the table and you will get the max value so max value is 0 0.602 so this is the value and minimum value minimum value 
minimum value uh, so just i will press here equal to sign and minimum so press minimum on the keyboard you will get the minimum so these are the minimum values and maximum value the formula for range is maximum value minus minimum value so here i will write equal to and i will take the max value right max value is this and subtract it from this cell f15 and here you will get the value that is 0.49 it is the range now i need to calculate the standard deviation just press equal to and standard deviation so there are some standard deviation formula which have been given uh, here the standard deviation formula it is for an sample it is not for an population uh, so you, you understand the concept from statistics what what is the use of this population and what is the use of this sample so just i will take for an sample and scroll it down and you will get the values right so this is the standard deviation uh, for the observation table now i need to calculate and correlation coefficient so i will uh, press again equal to and just i will do it once again correlation uh, for this purpose i i am relating this uh, concentration and absorbance uh, so i will select firstly one uh, array that is absorbance and uh, then put a comma and concentration so these are the two relationships that i want to know from a correlation coefficient and then complete the bracket and you will get the value that is correlation coefficient now i need to calculate an uh, intercept for calculation of an intercept just press equal to uh, so in case of a line equation y is equal to mx plus c you will need this uh, intercepts so i will press here intercept so unknown y is and unknown x So on uh, y-axis, I will have I will have an absorbance. On x-axis, I will have an concentration. Uh, so I will select this y. After that, put a comma and x. So x it will be an concentration. So just complete the bracket, and you will get the value of an intercept. Now for calculation of an slope, again press equal to and slope. Uh, so slope. Here again, uh, the y values I need and the x values I need. Uh, so the y values are absorbance, complete the bracket, and the x values are concentration, and you will get the slope. After that, for calculation of a linear graph, now what you need to do, uh, select this two uh, variables. So these are the two variables, concentration and absorbance and select these two variables go in insert uh, once you go in insert here you will find the charts uh, so the so go on the scattered uh, chart and click on this chart scattered right and here click uh, now click on the click on the point and add a trend line right so add a trend line and in this trend line what you need uh, like it should be a linear and what kind of an uh, observations you more need in it uh, if you want an intercept or if you want that equation that is y is equal to mx plus c and if you want r value that is correlation coefficient so i will tick on everything and now it comes right uh, so here i am getting a linear line i am getting a correlation coefficient so I will show you that correlation coefficient. The value of correlation coefficient that is 0.99. Uh, so you can scroll it as you require at any point, and you can calculate. You can copy this graph in a word also. Now further, I will minimize this graph. Okay. Now further is a linear graph we have seen how to calculate that linear graph. And here you can see the concentration and PPM. So these uh, are PPM concentration and these are observations on y-axis. Now for normal distribution curve, 
so just press equal to here i will create a normal distribution curve differently uh, so here uh, you can see uh, i need a normal distribution curve from the values from here so for normal distribution curve press normal right here you will get a uh, normal distribution function so x uh, so here x means observations uh, so here x we will see the observations that we need to take it uh, and i will take the observation x after that comma uh, mean so mean here uh, you type it type the mean because uh, the function will automatically scroll down and the mean will not come correct so just type it yes, so i will type the four at least okay now the standard deviation again you type it the standard deviation so it is point 18 point uh, 1844 just i will uh, type four digits and cumulative so cumulative uh, you can make it false and close the bracket right and you will get the value for normal uh, distribution so scroll down and these are the normal distribution values so how much they are uh, away from the mean so for that purpose now what we will do we will uh, select this values so after selecting the values i will come in insert and again in the charts uh, so here i will make this chart scatter with smooth lines uh, so you can see now the distribution values so you can add the title for the chart over here also what whatever the title it is required and you can make uh, some uh, here also you can edit this chart and what kind of an elements that you have to add in the chart so the elements uh, like what should be the axis uh, what should be the title of chart data labels so that you can for add from this uh, add chart elements so these 11 values you can easily calculate in excel uh, within a short period of time so thank you for watching